Hello, it's day three, and isn't it bloody dark? As dark as my soul. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's very wintry at the moment. Uh, very dark and dreary, but, um... Hopefully dinner will brighten the mood, because so far my dump dinner surprises have actually been really nice surprises. They've been quite nice, so... Got something uh, lined up for dinner, so let's get a cooking. And here is today's delight. Garlic bread and meatball casserole. Um, the ingredients actually call for, where are they? Frozen meatballs. Um, apparently they're a thing that don't exist in this country, although I'm sure uh, many, many commenters will prove me wrong right now. Um, so instead, my lovely assistant is making some meatballs. From scratch. From, from scratch. Mm. Uh, beef and pork, isn't it? Yes. How lovely. So, um, whilst my lovely assistant does that, I will, um, I suppose I'll just watch or something. Yay! Meatballs. Brown and moth nicely. Looking good. Looking steamy. Right, we have our cooked meatballs now and cheese and sauce and bread. So... The, uh, the oven is preheating. Lay the bread in the casserole dis dish. Dis. Oh, that's that's got to go on the bottom. Yeah. It's going to get well soggy. And we need six slices, so um, we don't have a very big... Here you go. Just, come on, like, put in a bit of effort in here. Like. Well, it doesn't say to have them going up the sides. Well, we have to be creative. Kathy does with her recipes. Like, well, I wouldn't really call it creativity that Kathy uses. To be well, honest. yeah. What would you call it then? Like lazy. La well, yeah. Very true. Now, interestingly, it doesn't say anywhere what you do with the uh, the garlic powder. So, because it's a garlic bread meatball casserole, we kind of think, what are you doing to that bread? Well, it wouldn't fit. Oh, good. Grief. I'm being creative. Fair enough. So we kind of think you have to put the, the teaspoon of garlic powder just just there. I really don't like the fact that it's garlic powder and not fresh garlic. We are going to then just throw stuff all... Do you not get the concept of dump dinners? Well, Come I just on. don't like this the, is the idea third of eating one. powdered garlic. You put it in your food all the time, woman. What are you talking right, about? Right, so then just sprinkle... How much? A teaspoon. So just kind of... Yeah, throw it on there, I guess. Delightful. Yuck. It's all going to get mixed in with the sauce anyway. It's not, because we're just going to dump it in. It's going to absorb. Stop worrying about it. So now, what do, now what do we drown... No, don't drown the meatballs. Top with the meatballs and pour the sauce on the top. So, yes, meatballs first. Oh, OK. All of them. Stop trying to jump ahead. Yeah, all... One pound's worth. Oh, wow, are you going to... You are just getting them everywhere. I'm dumping. That's what she told me to do. Look at that. That just looks like the worst sandwich ever. This looks gross. It's like you don't know how to make a sandwich. This looks really gross. I it would look worse it. if... It's supposed to be frozen meatballs. So um, just think about that for a second. Next, we pour the sauce on top, but don't drown the meatballs. Essentially, we need to use about 90% of this sauce because then it... it equates to 32 ounces, which is um, a very oh strange American um, measurement. What? Excuse you. Yeah, just use about um, a fifth of that, or two, uh, four fifths of that even. So not all, not quite all of it. But don't drown the meatballs, so that looks, yeah, they're not drowned, so just leave as is, I guess. Um, right, now we top with the cheese. So, um, Look how much cheese there is. That's far too much. There, there is literally the word cheese on every page in um, Do we have dinners. to eat it all? Well, if you want it cheesy. Yeah, but this is mozzarella. It's going to be cheesy anyway. Just uh, give it a nice Coach. covering and then we'll then we'll discuss it because, you know, we've got to stick true to the, uh, the recipe even though we haven't already. As true as we can. It looks. I don't know what you're whinging about. It looks all right, and the last two have been okay. It's the bread. Let's put that on there. That'll be a bit nice, won't it? Yeah, that'll, that'll make melt. a nice cheesy bread. Oh, you've, you've lost a bit here. Yeah. Did go. that on purpose? Oh, okay. 
This is going to be the cheesiest thing ever. It's going to be. I think it's going to be all right. That's because it's not drowned in sauce. It's drowned in cheese. Yeah, you can't really go wrong if you do that. No. There you go. I would eat, you know, poo if it was covered in cheese, probably. You already have. Let's uh, keep off private lines off the internet. <laughs> Your private line. A minute to six. Shove her in. Careful. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> this is, this is going to be different. So we will give it 30 minutes and then we'll, um, and then we'll see, <laughs> I suppose. Right, well, it is, uh, it's been in there for half an hour. God, the heat. Oh, there, sorry. Oh, God, it's cheesy. Oh, it's cheesy. Actually, it looks all right. <laughs> There's a hell of a lot of cheese on there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Great. It's all stuck to the bottom. You're washing up. No. <laughs> we'll soak it. It smells alright, it just smells like tomato to be honest. Lots of cheese, you just got that on me and it burns like a bugger. Alright, do you want the bread? Yes. It's stuck to the sides. Mm. Oh look, look how wet it is. It's like gelatinous, no. Lovely. Just have the meat. What are you doing? It's all stuck, look. You. <laughs> you. You mean soggy tomato bread doesn't look appealing? No. No? I guess I'll just um, stick to my food then, eh? Well, it's basically just meatballs, sauce and cheese and a bit of uh, well, soggy bread apart from that bit. That <laughs> wasn't covered in sauce. Um, yeah. It's a meatball in a sauce. That tastes all right, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure about the soggy bread with um, granulated garlic on it. It'll do, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's just meatballs and cheese and sauce. So much cheese, oh my God. <laughs> this one gets a confused thumbs sideways from me because what the hell? Wow, it's dark. <laughs> <clears throat> it's only like seven o'clock or half past seven, something like that. Crazy. Um, yeah, I, it was all right. It was just sauce with meatballs and soggy bread. The soggy bread bit was absolutely horrible. Grace hated it. At the moment, she's not really enjoyed much. She kind of liked the thing yesterday, but she hated the giant uh, burger thing. Ooh, like a horror movie, Blair Witch. Um, yeah, and she um, she hated the bread today. She was cursing my name a lot. So now I'm the worst husband in the world at the moment. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we'll um, we'll see tomorrow. Something better tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, it's more of a normal recipe, but. We'll see. Um, today's would have been really crap if they, if they were crap meatballs, which I'm guessing probably frozen meatballs aren't very good. Certainly not. Oh, what was going on with that shadow? Weird. So, yeah. I kind of liked it. It was a bit weird for a dinner. We've had peas and sweet corn two days in a row, but oh well. That was day three. <laughs> Bring on day four.